Hello guys and welcome to another Raven Down video. Today we're going to be talking about patch notes 1.0.6.1 which are the patch notes that are preparing us and sending us and getting us ready for the 1.07 and beyond patch note. I mean 1.07 right anyway um before i do start i would like to ask you guys uh, to leave in the comment section below suggestions for next videos i have a few ideas in my head like for example locations of old tier 4 t5 mats monsters so you know where to grind them where exactly to find them etc etc but at the moment i'm currently you know lacking with ideas and i'm also working on another build video for another video uh, sorry build but anyway i would love to hear from you with that being said, let's get started. The very first thing these patch notes address is the cooling spawns. I did a few cooling spawns later in the stream. They were a lot of fun. We got ourselves into a few fights, but they were just too few. It was only two spawns in the entire like map. And it was just overwhelmingly like hard to actually do something because you were dying constantly because there's so many guilds in there and it's just a mess and at the end it was not worth the amount of experience that each cooling eyes gave you so it's very nice to see that now they are implementing the uh, sorry they're increasing the experience reward scaling upon delivering you know like by 300 percent. that's crazy so if it's 300 percent, uh right now it gave you like 1150 something like that experience per cool light so right now it's going to be like 3300 experience per cool light so that is definitely definitely interesting and way more worth it right now it increases the duration uh of the spawns from 30 minutes to 60 minutes that's very nice it reduces the minimum level for spawns as well which is nice as well this is huge actually because now it's going to be able to spread out a little bit more right like like uh the, the people lower levels are going to be able to enjoy the same activity against other level lower levels while the high levels stay you know fighting against the other high you know High levels i think this is a great change and it, it definitely makes it way more appealing uh, i i cannot wait to you know for the server to come back online and give it a try moving on to the general changes which starts with one that i think is huge the aether stones which are i think are the, the crystals right well well they're being you know they're, they're being very weird sometimes they give you a very nice xp sometimes they don't Sometimes you end up destroying a crystal and it takes you, I don't know, 20 minutes and it only gives you 10k experience. It's horrendous at times. So it's always a gamble whether you want to be do a crystals. And at the end, most of the time, you end up deciding that you're not going to do it because it's not worth your time. Well, on these general changes, they are saying that uh, while being a valuable uh, side activity through lo lower levels in Ravendown, significantly lose their value for the time required and difficulty at higher levels. Because of that, we they have significantly adjust the scaling of either stone reward calculations for mid and higher levels so this is nice we'll definitely test it as soon as the server comes back online and we do we see a crystal we'll definitely use it and see how it goes which i like also what they say right after they said we also have more coming to ether stone which uh, uh, in the future which will, will lead to 1v1s and to it is pv plus pvp events this is the the, the Raven Down Hellgate version of it, which is really going to be super cool. You're going to be farming on one spot, suddenly the crystal will pop. You're going to be like, okay, I'm going to activate it. And voila, you are thrown into a instance, I will guess. That's how it's going to work, where you're going to have to fight through some enemies. And then there's very likely another character, another person also not joining that instance that's going to fight for the rewards of that place. That's really freaking cool. I cannot wait for that. I, I'm super excited please 1.07 come quickly another highlight to mention is that they are finally adding information on the map on different spots that for example the cog fort that's where all the you know that that hawk location for aoe grind that's very popular um they're also adding the grappling hooks and different grappling uh, grappling hook spots uh in the pirate hideout in sajejo uh, so you know create any new ways out for the area for players in the possession of the item right um a very important change is that the guild leadership is now automatically transferred to the older player with the highest rank in the guild. Uh, sorry, uh, transferred to the oldest player with the highest rank in the guild if the leader gets perma banned. I mean, this is a huge change, <laughs> uh, not because of the perma ban, right? But maybe a player gets, you know, 
quits the game and leaves. And maybe now there is a way to get uh, to transfer the leadership. That's actually very, very nice. They added a huge thing right over here that says from now on, Ethereal builds will be given to any player upon completing the quest an escort to Truce, an escort to Bastion, and an escort to Defiance. They will receive the ethereal base this change aims to fine-tune the progress through sephir veil artifacts this is huge because before uh, you will do these events and only one person of the 20 guys doing the event will actually get that ethereal veil so it was very annoying i had a few members of my guild that had to do it like 20 times before they finally get their own veils moving on to fixes and sorry about my dog in the background there is quite a few changes that are super important to mention the first one being added sparkles to map items belonging to the story quest into the rising storm sorry rising uh, rising storm i apologize into the rising sun which is huge this is for uh Sephir's bell artifact i believe then another important one uh, personally for me because i'm in stuck on this quest before because of this bug the the story quest creating value is now properly working when in a party i hope that uh, I'm, I'm not stuck anymore because I already kind of did this part. So hopefully I'm going to be able to do it again and see if I can finally finish this because it's super annoying. Uh, they also fixed Bloodsport that it was not properly, uh, you know, progressing when killing the bosses and, and you died or you were doing it in a party. Um, so that's very, very nice. Uh, also, players are now able to complete the task High Class Hostage upon reaching Gil uh, Gillian's Arena, which is also... Uh, very 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 good um, another thing is that they are the players are now able to properly start the story quest into the rising sun again a huge thing these two things right here is huge because this will actually help us with the artifacts the other one will be trials of the dune that that as well we've been trying to search for it for a while but we never were able to find it so it's nice to hear that we perhaps will be able to do it now so we gotta have to go back to Drasnarda and see if we can get that started uh the dialogue from the npc torrent from the story of the cold Bear is now properly ending after the cutscene finally i am stuck on both in this in this right here and this right here this is something i've been stuck for days weeks and it's super annoying so i'm happy to see that is finally fixed so i can go back and get that done it's super cool all right now they did a couple changes with the legendary fishes are now properly coming in a soulbound items Legendary, legendary fishes can't be stored in the bank anymore, so you gotta sell them, which is really, really good. Another big one from the list is that the woodcutting profession passive that increases experience gain in gain is now properly working on the open world. I remember a lot of people were complaining about that, so it's nice that it's finally fixed. Also, killing someone that is carrying a trade pack is not given infamy anymore, so this is nice as well. I remember they actually implemented this a few days ago, so it's nice to see that they actually put it so people are aware. And with that, I think those are all the highlights from the fixes. You are more than welcome to come and check it out. I will leave it on the description, a link to the description below of these patch notes. These are great fixes and general changes. I am actually very happy because it seems that we're going in the right direction. Now, hopefully after this, we can get some information about what's to come on 1.07 soon because I'm actually very excited for that patch. Please make it quick. <laughs> I beg you because I, can, I, I, I cannot wait to be able to do some exciting, um, you know, opt-in PvP uh, encounters. That's going to be very fun and very enjoyable, especially for me who I'm always uh, streaming and this kind of content is always the best. Uh, it's super fun. Anyway, with that said, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, feel free to leave that on the comment section below. And again, thank you so very much for watching. I am Toto Torres, and it's been a pleasure. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.